Hey everybody, my name is Adam. I'm a web dev here at Sparkbox, and today I want to walk you through a quick demo uh, of how I used FS Write File instead of reaching for something like Yeoman to scaffold out uh, a bunch of files on a recent project. So let's check it out. So I should mention that this all exists because I kind of tongue in cheek tweeted that FS Write File is my Yeoman. And so you have Ethan, uh, my coworker, to blame for me sharing more in depth what this looked like um, because he said if this was a blog post, uh, he would read it. Um, for those who don't know, uh, Yeoman is a, a, a tool that's been around for a while uh, in the JavaScript community, and it kind of specializes in spinning up uh, or scaffolding out uh, a project structure uh, based on, you know, you can configure that however you want, whether you want uh, like an image directory, a SAS directory, a JavaScript directory, or something like that. You can use Yeoman to, to automate that, which is very, very handy. However, on a recent project, which was a design system, we ran into the case where each pattern was four files. You know, you had your, your markup, your JavaScript, your SAS, and your, a JSON file for data for that pattern. And it was very, it was, there was a lot of friction involved in uh, creating a pattern as a dev. You had to make sure those four files were in the right directory, that they were named the same, I mean, that kind of thing. And it was just kind of an obvious like, huh, it would be nice to have a little automation here to uh, automate the, the setup. Um, and my first thought was, oh, we could use Yeoman. And then as I thought about it more, I, you know, I realized, well, we could just use FS write file. And I bet that would solve most of our issues. And so it did. And so let's uh, jump to the code real quick. So I'm gonna jump up to this buffer up here at the top. Um, there's literally nothing after this final line, which is convenient. Um, I, I condensed this down for sake of uh, explaining it and for hopefully not uh, going over anyone's head, but uh, I'll just walk through it real quick. We require in the FS module, which is built into Node. You don't need to install anything to use it. If you're using Node, you can use the FS module. And we pull off the process object, we pull our arguments off that as an array. And this is handy, uh, so we can pass in the name we want to use to, to scaffold. Um, and then we have our two functions. And if you'll notice on the bottom, that generate um, is what's called uh, when the script is run. And so if we run to that function, we can see it takes an argument of file name, and then it goes through and calls make dirs. And make dirs contains our first instance of using the FS um, module. And we're, what we're using it here for is to make sure that uh, a handful of directories exist before we proceed any further in our script. It would be kind of silly to try to create a file that exists in a directory that doesn't exist. You would get an error. And so make dirs is where we can kind of consolidate all of that functionality by saying, let's make sure in this case we have a SAS directory and that we have a JavaScript directory. Um, you can pass additional options. And in this case, we're passing recursive true to both of these to make dirs sync, but you could also just pass one argument being the string name of the directory you want to create. So after that's done, generate goes on and we see the second instance of the FS module. Um, that we're using, and that is write file sync. And this is what I was referencing in my tweet. Um, write file sync is the synchronous version of write file. Write file is in the more async callback uh, typical node function that we're familiar with. I like using write file sync because it lets me, you know, pretend these things are synchronous. <laughs> so the write file sync takes two arguments. It takes the path name of the file you want to create, and then the second argument is the data you want in that file. And so you can see in this case, we're creating two files in these two function calls. One's a SAS file and one's a JavaScript file. And they're both going to be named by the file name we pass into the script. And they both just have a comment at the top saying, you know, giving some instructions to future devs that, you know, things that we want people to keep in mind as they use our system. And that's all there is to it. Um, so I'll jump down to the terminal here and you can see I don't have anything aside from a, a readme and this the index file we just went through in this directory. So, you know, there's no fancy magic going on. This is literally just two files. So to call our script, we node index.js, that's pretty standard. And then let's give it an argument. And this is going to be the file name we want to exist. So in this case, you know, everyone needs a slider, right? So we're going to make a slider. So we hit enter. And now if we ls, look at that, we have a JavaScript directory and a SAS directory. If we look inside the JavaScript directory, we can see we have a slider JS file. And we can cat that out. And we can see there's just a comment at the top explaining what that thing does. This little script pretty quickly made two files for us without any issues. There wasn't any, you know, that didn't take very long. That happened quickly. Um, and we didn't have to pull in a third party dependency, which I think is a, is a nice win. Um, to consolidate around the, the, the tooling you already have available. So that's it. Let me know uh, if you have any feedback on this, and uh, thanks for watching.